Good then, YouTube. Hope you're all doing very well. Welcome back to another video here on our channel. I'm the Viva Analyst, and today we are talking market. We're not doing gameplay. We are going to be talking about the current state of FIFA with regards to the market on FIFA 22. Kind of giving you my two cents, if that's obviously something that you're interested in, on why the market is the way that it is, what you guys can do about it, kind of what to expect over the coming weeks. Now, obviously, I'm not an out-and-out -out trader. Trading isn't my speciality, but I've kind of been keeping up to date with what's been going on a little bit in a sense with regards to this current market situation on FIFA 22. If you enjoyed this video, please do leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, obviously, let me know what you think down below in the comment section and come over to the Twitch stream, twitch.tv forward slash FIFA analyst if you're interested in that. So first of all, what we're talking about, I'm looking up on this screen because this is where I've got my, uh, my juicy bits, preview packs. On Sunday evening, EA dropped a 50k preview pack. There was five of them in the store, which meant that you could preview pack the first one. So if you're like myself and you've run a road to glory, you went and preview packed a 50k pack, which is a pretty decent pack on FIFA. 12 rare players, I believe, if I remember correctly. Perhaps isn't my strongest point. Um, and you could see what you could get. And obviously, with like the rule breakers impacts, the team of the week and whatnot, a lot of cards got packed. If the pack that you had was worth more than the 50k coins, you could buy it with coins or you could buy it with FIFA points. So like now, this is a preview pack. So we can go and open this and we can then make our decision whether we want to buy this pack or not. Obviously, it's not great. It's a 7.5k pack we've got here. So we haven't done it. And this recycles every 24 hours, right? Preview packs obviously came in uh, back end of last year. We've already gone over it. We know how they work as a whole. So I'm not going to go into that anymore on that side of things. But what did that do to the market? Well, Funnily enough, kind of what happened is so many people got these preview packs that some people would have their preview pack of 50k and it might only be worth 30k, the preview pack, but they buy it and they're 20k down. They then got another preview pack and they might have gone through and used all five. I think what EA managed to do is kind of get people sucked into go into the store, go into them, you know, going into the pack section more than what they, they would have done previously, which has obviously helped them increase their revenue. But it's had a massive impact on the market, for, from my personal opinion. So take a look at this Bamba, for example. Bamba was 178k on PlayStation, 170. This is coming up into, you know, middle of the afternoon, one o'clock, two o'clock UK time, 166k. The preview pack dropped here at 6pm. And you can already see the difference in that drop. And he went all the way down. Bamba, on Monday morning, I believe it was, at one point, was less than 100k. Yeah, you can't really see it too much, but he was at less than 100k. He's now rebounded back up to 130k. And the preview packs played an impact on this. Why is this a problem? <laughs> the, the problem that we have is that with the market being the way that it is, is that even when you pack a Bamba card, which is a very, very good card, right? I really like him. I've done a play review on him, should you wish to watch that. He's worth next to nothing. So if you're looking at going and getting Mbappe, who's 1.4 mil right now, you, you know, you've got to pack Bamba quite a few times to be able to go and afford that. Mbappe had the same thing, right? Sunday afternoon, 1.5 mil, nearly 1.6. Um, obviously dropped down quite a bit. And then yesterday morning, he went down really, really low. 1.278 mil he was. And now he's rebounded back up to that 1.435. So the market shit the bed. In, in honesty, pardon the language, but that's basically what happened. The market completely across the board went down. You know, even someone like Son, for example. Son, a fantastic striker. The best gold card on the game for finishing, other than Ronaldo and Mbappe, in my opinion. Even he just plummeted down. And we're seeing 89 rated Son, less than 100k right now. Now, if we go and look at the same time last year and go to FIFA 21. Yes, obviously, he was only 87 rated, so we will take that into account. But what are we on? We're coming into November. He was, at this point, 167K, right? And that was an 87 rated son. He's now 89 rated this year. So you can see how these cards have come down and come down. At the minute, to my knowledge, uh, at the time of recording this, there was eight cards over uh, 100K, and above gold cards, that is, which is mental, absolutely mental. So these gold cards now have really, really gone down because obviously they're constantly in packs. Unless they've got a promo card, they go down, they go down and go down. What does that mean for you? Well, it means for you at the minute, unless you're packing a Messi, a Ronaldo, and even Messi is dirt cheap right now, you're not really going to have a chance to upgrade your team. And I know a lot of people are liking this because you might go, right, I want to go ahead and build Rashford, Salah, Mane. That's what, that's what I want to be my front three. 
Rashford, 20k. He was 150k last year at this sort of time. Salah, 219k, one of the ones that's held. And Mane's held, you know, still, still fairly priced. 144k. So for there, for about 400k, you've got a front three that is very, very good. 400k to some players is a lot of money. To some players, it's not, you know, kind of one of them. But to even get to these higher end cards, you have got to pack. Like, even if you pack a Dembele this year, 83 rated, he's 20k right now. He used to be so much more on previous FIFAs. Let's go to uh, FIFA 21 and take a look at him again. On, at this time last year, he was 40k, give or take, going into 40, 50k. Uh, so that, that's still quite a lot for an 83 rated card. So you can just see how it's taking that impact on there. W why is this? The constant supply of packs and preview packs, in my opinion, and also rewards. This year, we very much have now a system where we are getting pack rewards more than coin rewards especially in the rivals area is what i'm talking about we've just been given so many more packs than what we had previously where it was coins 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 in my opinion so obviously the supply then the, the market is just constantly getting flooded with more and more players which obviously is taking them down you know if there's a thousand dembales on the market people want to sell them they just undercut the cheapest one and you know it has that ripple effect if there was only a hundred then his price may kind of hold and if there's more buyers than there is listed cards the prices rise if there's more listed cards than there is buyers the prices fall which obviously plays a, a, an impact how does this mean for you guys at the minute well we've had the market crash and it's, it's coming down the market went really really low and it still is pretty low it's probably going to rebound a little bit but on thursday we get our milestone rewards from seasons where we are all going to be given untradeable packs and we're going to get an influx of players. So people might pack a Bamba, an Mbappe, a Son that they've already got in their team. They then go and sell their tradable version of them. And what does that mean, obviously, then for these cards again, if they pack a Di Natale, that they will then go down in price and people have got coins to actually do stuff with on the market. And then at the end of the month, we've got Black Friday. Black Friday is normally when we really see a massive, massive market crash on FIFA 20, uh, on FIFA's as a whole. The typical Matt HD Gamer video comes out. You know, Black Friday market crash, that's when we first normally see it. But that's where prices are going to plummet. And I am scared to think about it. What I mean by this is, so I I had my team, right? And I bought my, I bought my team and it was worth 480k. I sold my team on Saturday after Champs. And, I, you know, I've got my money back straight away. If I would have sold that team on Sunday evening, I would have made 320k. I would have lost 160k in one day. My rewards didn't even pay me out 160k. There's a lot of people that had high-end cards that have just plummeted so much that they're, what they've worked towards, what they've worked hard on to make, oh, I want to buy Di Natale, I bought him for 900k, and then bang, he's now at 780 you feel so frustrated and annoyed that that coins that you've lost. Now, I spin it back to you and go, well, does it really matter? Because everything else has gone down. To an extent, it still matters. You lose the value and you think, oh, I've lost 200k on this particular card. I've only had him three or four days. That is a massive drop. You want then going to, going to go and buy someone else. You've got to hope that they also went down. And not everyone else always goes down because, again, it depends on the supply and how many times they've been packed and so on. So it really can have a negative impact on you and your kind of thing on FIFA. What I'm doing at the minute, you may have seen my YouTube post the other day, I'm running an untradeable team. I, out of Ride to Glory right now, I'm scared to buy players and lose a load of my coin value. I just don't want to do it. So I've got 450k, 500k sat in the bank right now, and I'm doing nothing with it. Well, I'm trying to trade with it, to be fair. So having that there and just using an untradeable team makes it so that I can't lose any coins. So then when this Black Friday market, hopefully, well, if it does happen, the Black Friday market crash comes around, that's when I'm going to try and buy in again, you know, and try and pick up some of these cards. Like even at the minute, you know, the Vinicius Junior, the 85 rated card is ridiculously low. So it's a great card on FIFA and it's really, really low. Again, this went down. This went down all the way into on xbox into the 280s 260s mark at one point it was yeah 261 there and now it's kind of rising back up and that's what we're going to see over the next day or two a slight rise and then when thursday comes things are probably going to come down again and then it might go down even more when we get to black friday and on top of all this what else happened the base icon pack came out the base icon pack came out and uh so many people are like oh i want to go do the base icon pack i want a chance at packing you know some of these cards and let's be honest, in the grand scheme of things, the cards that you can get in it are pretty bad. This is going to cost you altogether 
500k on xbox 480k on playstation so what do people do with that i want to afford it okay well i've currently got let's say messy in my team I'll, I'll sell my messy i'll sell my messy to go and do it and they go and do it and they gamble on that and that's kind of what happens on there fodder rose because obviously people need to do that what is fodder if you don't know fodder's like someone like say um let's have a look for you let's just uh pull up i'll tell you what uh we'll go coke coke is a, a normal good one coke 85 rated he's not really usable people don't really use him that can slightly see a rise so you can see here you know saturday the 6th of november he was 6k and he's, he then went up to 7.71 so uh, 7.7 sorry so gained you know over a thousand uh nearly two thousand on there so people could make profit on that if they did have any of those cards so that sort of stuff has gone up but the meta cards the high-end cards have gone down what does this all mean for you what should you do it's your personal opinion so if you have got messi's and bappe's ronaldo's and you're happy with that team and you know your next upgrades are high-end promo cards high-end cards in general then that's when you just need to say to yourself i'm not going to change them for the next two three months i'm going to lose coins it is what it is i'll make it back in match coins champs rivals drafts and so on if you are really tight on your budget you may want to look to sell when the market's at a high point ready for maybe the next crash and then rebuy back in me myself i just don't want to have i bought son um you know on that weekend at 130k i sold him for like 120k and he's now worth 94k it's not a massive amount uh, of a drop but when you you know accumulate that over all of your cars you then start to see a trouble i prioritize fun over trying to treat this like a trading market and the stock market and so on but i understand you guys put a lot of time and effort into this you don't want to just see your coins go down the drain so you do what you think is best for you right? i can't recommend obviously there's more traders out there you know uh, run the foot market foot accountant flare um uh there's plenty of others out there fuzzball there's plenty of others that you can go and watch and you can take their advice for proper trading advice on what you should do but that's kind of what i'm doing and i thought it might be best to share it with you guys as well if you did enjoy this video please leave a like and subscribe to the channel thank you all very much for watching as always it is greatly appreciated i'll catch you in the next one all right take care look after yourselves goodbye goodbye goodbye